The Justice Department tonight saying it will appeal a federal judge's decision to lift the mask mandate on public transportation if the CDC decides masks on planes, trains, and transit systems are still required for public health. But for now, masks are coming off in droves across the country. And News Channel 9's Madison Moore tells us that goes for Syracuse's Hancock International Airport. This was the reaction from passengers on board a Delta flight Monday night after learning the federal mask mandate was lifted. A day later, and the reaction was more subdued at Syracuse Hancock International Airport. It feels odd, to be honest, um, but you know, we've done our part, we're vaxxed, I've boosted twice, um, and given the opportunity, I'll, I won't wear one, you know? I mean, if it was required, of course, it'd be on, no question. The decision to mask or not to mask, now in the hands of individual travelers at Syracuse Airport and on major airports. Airlines. Just happy to be hopefully getting back to normal and everybody will just be nice to each other and get back to what we should be doing. But not everyone feels as ready to take their mask off just yet. And as cases continue to rise in our region, some are questioning if now is the right time. I feel I should have kept it longer. I think I think we as a nation uh, need to respect a little, have a little more respect for our own health, let alone the authority of others that are trying to help us maintain good health. Traveler Olga Gusak agrees, but says it was about 50-50 on her flight. My decision is simple. Uh, maybe I'm sick and I don't want to spread, and I want everybody to be responsible, so I think that helps. But Upstate's Dr. Stephen Thomas says this new phase of the pandemic was inevitable. And we always thought that it would come to the point at some point it's going to have to be on the individual and the individual's family to make a personal decision about their risk and to act accordingly. Hoping that decision is the best one for you and those around you. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Now do keep in mind, JFK and LaGuardia still requiring masks inside their airports. That's per New York State guidance. But Newark Airport making masks optional. That's based on New Jersey guidelines.